One citizen of Bangkok who doesn't want to leave. The exotic animals of Thailand are constantly being shipped all over the world. Monkeys, birds, and especially baby elephants. Temple drum sounds the call to prayer. There are hundreds of Buddhist temples in the city and many thousand monks. This young man is making a rubbing of a carving on a temple wall. He'll sell the rubbing to tourists for a dollar. Buddhism is a great force in Thailand. The people are very devout. Each day they feed the monks, who can get their food only in this way. They don't beg. They simply appear and they are fed. Every Thai male who possibly can spends a period of his life as a monk. This young monk is a schoolboy on summer vacation. Lai Wung is a Chinese refugee here in Bangkok without a passport or visa. He makes a living as a street peddler. Lai Wung sells puddings, which he makes himself. Lai Wung could afford a better home, but he wants to save. He wants to succeed in Bangkok. He's determined never to return to China. The Kayo Friar River is the main waterway in the great network of clongs or canals that are part of the city. About half the people of Bangkok live on or close to the clongs.
a fish market. There are freshwater fish from the rivers and saltwater fish from the Gulf of Siam. Here, as elsewhere in the city, most of the merchants are Chinese. Most of the customers and workers are Thais. The grace and delicacy of the movement of the Thai are reflected in the traditional dances of the country. This is a government school, where youths are prepared for a career as professional dancers. Body control has another virtue for the Thai. It helps in meditation, an important part of the Buddhist faith. ทางตาลิ้นกายใจเมื่อตกเข้ามาเป็นธรรมารมณ์คือเป็นเรื่องเกิดขึ้นกับใจแล้วใจก็นึกคิดไปตามอารมณ์อารมณ์เหล่านั
But you see, we believe in something quite common too. <laughs> The prince was educated in England and is much the same as any cultivated European except for his religion. He's a devout Buddhist. Prince Ajivedas pays his respects to his ancestors in front of a small shrine called a spirit house. Almost every Thai home has one. Much of the daily life of Bangkok, the shopping, buying, selling, delivering and storing, takes place along the Klongs. They're the busiest streets of the city. The bigger sampans are family homes, as they have been for centuries. The Klong is also a source of food. The Klongs provide water highways to and from the interior of the country. Connecting with the Kayo Fraya River, they're linked to the great harbor of Bangkok. All the citizens of Bangkok live near the waterways, but those who can like to have water around them. Mr. Piwa enjoys his fish pond. He works for a pharmaceutical company, and so does his family. While Mr. Piwa fishes, the family fills small bottles with an ear lotion. head of the household does do some of the work. He delivers the bottles to the pharmacies. The pharmacies of Bangkok are on the one hand much the same as anywhere, providing most of the modern drugs in use. But in the same shop, one will also find the ancient remedies of Asia, mostly Chinese in origin. Scraped deer horn for strength, all manner of ancient remedies, strange by Western standards. For poor circulation, dried lizard. And always, in every Chinese shop, that ancient adding machine, the abacus. Bangkok's merchants do a considerable tourist business, especially in silk. Thai silk is justly famous. The raw material comes mostly from Japan, but the weaving and dyeing are done in Thailand.
Another profitable item is precious stones, rubies and sapphires. Many Bangkok girls are expert at polishing the gems. Business slows down in the rainy season. Few tourists come to Bangkok during the monsoon. But when the monsoon passes, the sun returns and the dragon kites swoop and sway again over the city.